Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about what knowledge base is, uh, how to upload documents as part of a knowledge base, and then how to build a agent that uses knowledge base to answer queries asked by the user. So I'll walk you through the flow from start to the end, uh, and you'll get to know how how powerful a knowledge base can make an agent. So let's start with what it is. Think of knowledge base as a folder, as a collection of your documents, or you can even consider it as like a knowledge source for your agents. So it can, uh, if you build an agent that reads from a knowledge base, what it can do is it, it can answer users queries by reading a PDF or by scraping information from a website. So it can do a lot and it can make your agent quite powerful. So let's start with creating a new knowledge base. So you have a menu here as called knowledge base and you go there and click on create new. Let's uh, start with building a knowledge base that answers questions about Lizer itself. So it, it acts like FAQ agent. Uh, by default, Lizer Agent Studio provides you with a uh, VV8 vector store. So you don't need to create one, not necessarily. Uh, once you create a knowledge base here, here you go. It currently does not contain anything because we haven't added some added information yet. So I click on upload and now I can either upload a file in the format of PDF document or text, or I can provide a website URL or I can provide uh, raw information itself. So let's start with providing uh, our Lizer's website. So I say I enter the website, give me a second. I click on upload. It might take a couple of seconds. Once this is done, I'll upload a file as well that contains all the FAQs and information about what Agent Studio does. Let me add one other site as well. It talks about pricing. Meanwhile, you can close this while it's uploading. Yeah, you can see here that this upload has been successful and you'll see that uh, the website has been added. Similarly, I'm going to add a, one other website. Once this is done, uh, what we'll do is we'll build an agent. Uh, we'll call it Lizer AI Assistant and we'll link our agent to this knowledge base. So if any user asks any question to that agent about Lizer, it will scrape all the information from all the sources that we provide and it's making it quite powerful. Here you go. This has been added. Now let's start with one other thing, which is adding a PDF. I already have a PDF on Lizer AI Assistant. I'll upload it. Meanwhile, uh, while the upload is happening, what you can test is, uh, you can test if, uh, if, the, if information is being retrieved, if the chunks are being retrieved. So let's say I'm asking about pricing. So let's see what it does. To see here, it tries to find the most relevant chunk of information among the, all the items listed. So we have Lizer AI's pricing page, which has higher relevant uh, score as compared to Lizer.ai. So it will try to take more information from here itself. As you expand here, you will get to see all the pricing information that uh, it has. This is how you can check your knowledge base uh, through retrieving the information right now, right here. Our PDF is uploaded. So let's start building an agent and connecting a knowledge base as part of it. I'll call it Lizer AI Assistant. I'll select GPT-40 Mini. What I'll do is, I'll add an agent role and I click on improve. What it does is it improves, uh, it automatically adds uh, agent role and agent instructions without me typing this information and tries to get the best out of the LLMs itself in terms of understanding the requirement. Once this, once the base is done, we now will have to connect to a knowledge base. And here is how you can do it. You can uh, any select a knowledge base. Uh, right now we have created something called Lizer AI Assistant. I click on save. We wait for a second. It gets added. And once that's done, what you can, what we can do is we click on create. So it builds an agent, and you can test your agent right now here as part of the screen. I'll update it. Yeah. Let's say now I ask about. What does Lizer Agent Studio do? So now it is retrieving information from PDF or from the website, and here you go, covers all the information. Let's say ask about pricing. Here you go, you see all the pricing plan information right now. Here you go. So this is how. You can make a powerful agent. You can use it as part of your own product uh, and integrate it as part of the chatbot itself. 
Now, let's see how all of this is possible. So all of this is possible through uh, V8. So V8 is a vector store, and I'll give you a brief about what a vector DB is. Vector DB allows LLMs to search through various sources of information. Since it contains variety of information, it V8 and other vector stores makes it quite easy to fetch information from it. Now there are very, uh, now if by default Lysa provides a set of VV8 credentials automatically so that you don't need to configure. But in case if you have your own vector credentials, you can uh, click on here and click on Add New and provide all the information to set up your own VV8 DB. That's all. Thank you.